recent concerns over bird flu spreading into dairy cattle and human dairy workers is making the work of one group of New York City high schoolers even more important. CBS News New York's Jesse Mitchell introduces us to the virus hunters and their mission to track disease. The New York City virus hunters are getting their hands dirty to find out which little birdies might be carrying a deadly disease. Strolls through Central Park spark excitement when this group finds a fresh splatter. Safety first. Mount Sinai and BioBus pay high school students as junior scientist interns who scoop up poop in search of sickness. Really the most important thing is just making sure it's fresh, it's not dried up. As a haven for both local and migratory birds, Central Park is a unique study of an urban environment. We will look around to see what type of birds are surrounding where we collected the data, so like sparrows and robins. The project started in 2020 with support from the National Institutes of Health and aims to better understand how bird flu can adapt and fly between species. We want to make sure that we collect as much data as possible so we can actually assess the risk. As they take their samples back across the street to Mount Sinai's Kramer Lab, the virus hunters mix up a solution to start to see the differences in DNA with help from lead scientist Philip Mead. If we have something that's real, then we'll get the full genetic sequence, the, the whole genome. Mead says he's more worried about the spread among dairy cows than the jump to their handlers, as it's important to understand the potential for pets, especially in parks. Cows are more similar to humans than birds are to humans. The virus having extra time and basically reps to acquire adaptations for mammals uh, is something that we really have to keep an eye on. Out of more than 1,900 samples collected over one year from feces, plus water where winged beings gather, and patients at the Wild Bird Fund, the virus hunters found H5N1 in six birds, including three geese and a sick chicken in Upper Manhattan. But none of the droppings proved to be positive for flu. Their research was recently published in the American Society for Microbiology's Journal of Virology. Jesse Mitchell, CBS News, New York.